Hey guys, it's Sean, Autotopia LA, and we are back with my friend Mimo and his badass 65 El Camino. Now I'm gonna preface this one, and I might offend some of you guys, but I've never been an El Camino guy, it's not my thing. But when I saw his, I knew we had to shoot this because I just think it's a cool one, man. So Mimo's gonna walk us through details. First with the car on Long Beach, sitting in the driveway, one of those Christine kind of things. Okay. The car was a piece of crap. Floors were rotted, interior was gone, had a piece of crap engine that didn't run, rot throughout the whole vehicle. And what I did was I took the car and I brought it to this standard right here. This truck has console, bucket seat, tilt, air conditioning, pretty set up pretty good, you know, for the a day-to-day -day drive. Is, is, this, is this a Chevy color? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> if you believe it or not, it's actually a Mopar color with an added twist to it. Is that a custom blend or is yeah, it? Well, I, I took the color from Dodge and then I took it to the laboratory and we're gonna mix it the way I want it. The wheels are matching the, the truck. We have dog dish up caps. The truck is set up pretty good for for a day-to-day -day shop driver. You know, I pick parts. I love it, thing. you guys, this is his shop <laughs> truck. He goes shop and picks truck. up parts in this thing, it's which is shop just truck. awesome, dude. Shop truck for APS. Let's start under here, because I, I always love to get into what power, and I dig that you kept this thing old school, that you didn't go LS with it or something didn't along go LS, those lines. I, I kept it toward the uh, NASCAR theme for 65. I wanted it to sound, I wanted to, the engine to kind of look like that. I kept all the V-belts, all the pulleys. Have a few upgrades, like the radiator to keep the engine cool. This little thing makes close to maybe 500 okay. horsepower. It's a 327, it's a 327 carbureted. carbureted. Carbureted 750 double pumper. It's a manual car too, all manual brakes, manual steering. So if you don't, your arms get tired, if you got weak arms, you don't want to drive this. Right, well, you got you're okay leg. there, you're a big dude. <laughs> you got weak legs, you don't want to stop this thing. Willwood Master, is it Willwood Brakes as well? Yeah, it's drummed all the way around, believe it or not. Oh, really? But the drum's been rotated where it have more stopping mass, versus stopping this way, it stops more at, a, at an angle and it stops harder. Okay, I, I mean, as soon as I saw that, I figured for sure you had to have discs on this. got drum brakes all the wow, way Wow, you're old school, dude. Yeah, you are it, seriously. I kept, it, I kept it 100 with the truck. That's how it came. I just did some upgrades. Uh, the riding suspension is all new. Everything is new as far as tie rods, bushings, control arms. Everything is new up front. Okay. The rear end new, new shot. But it's still, it's not like a coilover no setup. Coilover. It's, it's got the stock original factory control arms, upper and lower springs. Wow, okay. Is and this the 327 that came with it? This is the motor that came with the truck. Okay. I took the motor about out. I rebuilt the whole thing. Got some upgrades, major upgrades, manifold. Okay. Uh, those are dart heads, steel heads. Don't forget that. Okay. We got match port manifold, solid Inski camshaft in this thing. We got 3500 stall, 350 transmission shift kit, 336 gears with a posi, big flooring radiator. I, I mean, I swear this is so funny to point this out, but is this original? Is this stock? In that it? is original in a lot of '60s cars, all Chevrolet. This is what. This is your glass know, I cleaner. Missed that man. This is your glass cleaner. It was more so a show thing for no, me. No, I dig that, dude. I, I, that's that's like a talking point yeah. for sure. I left it here. It's solid. It ain't gonna move. <laughs> it ain't gonna rattle out of there. It's, it's mounted to the inner fender. Right on, dude. I love it, man. It's so well done, man. Color's great, the metal looks, I mean, everything looks so straight and clean, especially considering you started with a pretty rowdy truck. And then in the interior, you were saying that this would have, this would have been this either been a manual a or a, or a uh, column. column shift. It would have been and a manual went, or a column So you shift. created the whole center I console. I created the, the console. You know how hard it is to find an automatic console for Chevelle? I'll bet. I bought that out of Connecticut. And so that would have originally been in a in Chevelle. Chevelle. Chevelle, correct. When you rolled up, I almost heard the stereo as loud as I heard the car, and the car makes some pretty good sounds. Yeah, I got some sounds in this thing. That is not what I'm hearing at all. <laughs> not at you all. You got something hidden away I here. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got that one down. Wow, okay, there we go. The system in this thing is just banging, you guys. I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah. When, he, when he rolled up, it was almost as loud as the car itself. What are the seats out of? These seats are out of an Impala believe it or not. I oh, made really? them, I, I fabricated the seat mounts because when you replace the floors, it doesn't come with seat brackets. So I fabricated all my own seat brackets, made everything, welded everything, and I went and got bucket seats out of an Impala. And then 
Besides that, what do you got going on with your stereo here? You got because you got, got some I serious got some volume going on. Five six two customs. My buddy Gordo did did the did the music for me. Oh um, God! Look at this back here. Yeah, this truck used to be fully covered. We cut it out and put a stereo system inside, like a newer El Camino would. Mm -hmm. It has uh, like the 87s, 86, 87, where it's got the little compartment behind the seat. So I got some nice sounds in here. I love the old school wheel too. Now, is this is this original to this car? Yes, sir. It is. It'll be for 65, 65 Chevelle. And so I assume under here, then it's still Leafs. No. No. It's up and lower control arm. Oh, okay. Everything's been rebuilt and new. Uh, it has a 10 bolt in it, but it has posi gears, and new axles. Uh huh. New Looks like you have there. a new fuel tank in there as yeah, well. Exactly, new fuel tank. Mm hmm. All that's brand new. This is something we, we all commented on before he guys is on. Every one of his license plates, he works Mo into the license plate, right? Like, that's what it is. What's your Nova? Mo Nova. Mo Nova. You got C Mo 327, which you see me, and the three car has a 327. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, let's go for a drive, yeah, dude. Let's go take it for a cruise. Oh uh, yeah, you feel that shift kit when it shifts, it hits, huh? Yeah, it hits. You built the whole thing in house? Yeah, me and my business partner, my business partner Tony built the transmission for me. I built the motor. Nice. So it's three speed then, right? That's it. It's three gears. Is it so did you start with a turbo 350? Is that yep. the trans? Yeah. Yep. It had a power glide in it. We went from power glide to 350. Nice. I may change it to an overdrive. I got a brand new transmission sitting on the floor at the shop. I put overdrive in this thing if I choose to. Yeah. How long have you had this? Two years, three years, going on three years. Oh, that's all. So it's still yeah. semi new yeah, to you. Yeah, it's only got 800 miles on it. <laughs> that's it, huh? <laughs> wow, so you really do use it for like local stuff yeah, only, it's huh? All local. I haven't told, I haven't done anything. And I dragged you all the way up to Burbank. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, exercise, give it some exercise. Right, it needs it, man. It, it's, it's, it's happy it today. It's road worthy. It's happy. It's road worthy. You can take this thing anywhere. If I drove it to San Diego, it'll make it. And these seats are nice and comfy, huh? They're nice and comfy. They got a little seats. bounce to them, man. Yeah, factory, factory and pallet seats, but customized with the buttons in the seats. Yeah. Chrome band around the back. Pretty cool. Yeah. Thought it would change the look of the whole, the dynamics of the truck itself. All right, you guys, that's it for our shoot of my friend Mimo's badass 65 El Camino. Cool truck, right? The color's staggering, I swear. Every different way that the light hits it, it changes colors. And I love that Mimo's created a style of his own. He's got a flavor to the cars that he builds. Absolutely cool, man, and fun to have Mimo back on the channel. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.